Hello everyone, Blau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a video that will be part haul, part unboxing, part a little bit toy history and then a comparison of these two toy lines <laughs> that I want to show you today. A little bit at least. Um, yeah, you have probably read the title of the video. Um, I'm going to talk about Shira and Golden Girl. No, not <laughs> not the Golden Girls, uh, not the Grannies, uh, the, the sitcom that you might know. No, that's uh, something completely different. Golden Girl and it's a uh, toy line from the 80s that has a lot of similarities to Shira. Hence why I put them together in that video. Um, yeah, um, if you remember my Christmas haul video, then you might uh, remember that I got myself my very first uh, Shira figurines uh, for Christmas. Um, just um, to explain a little bit again, like what, what that toy line actually is, I mean, a lot of you might know. <laughs> and also, a lot of you might have uh, seen that video. But uh, Shira is a doll slash action figure, but I mean they have rooted hair, so they are more dolls. Uh, toy line um, from Mattel. Um, it ran from 84 till 87. And um, it's basically the sister uh, toy line of He-Man. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, um, these, these guys here, you know, these weird looking, colorful, like barbarian, fighters, these, these, these warriors, and He-Man basically is, and that's not He-Man, but <laughs> uh, He-Man and the Masters of the Universe is a toy line mainly for boys. I mean, you can, everyone can play with everything, but it was designed around like that boys would play with that. Um, very famous and, and of course very, very popular during that time. And of course girls were already playing also with, with these toys. Uh, so um, Mattel, a couple of years later, I think uh, He-Man started in 82. So um, yeah, designed another toy line directly targeted at the like girls demographic and um, it's still like in the same realm. So it, uh, the main character, Shira, she is the uh, sister of the main character from the Masters of the Universe line. Um, both have also a cartoon series, etc., etc. Um, but this line was made like um, definitely more appealing, like to young girls, within especially in their colors. There's lots of, there's lots of pinks, lots of nice colors. Um, as I said, the figurines, you could call them dolls. They are in the same um, uh, five and a half inches size. Uh, of course, they they look more, more slender, etc., than these huge <laughs> bulky beings and they have um, brushable hair and um, like all of those they they came uh, with uh, some fashion pieces um, of course with weapons um, with uh, uh, like a comb or brush I, know, I think it's all combs um, and yeah the whole toy line um, also of course had animals there were horses um, huge wings so everything very fantastical there they are that's huge swan stuff like that and they also play sets okay that's this so I have these three uh, right now but here in the middle you can see the um, Star Wars Chira um, here is the villain character you could say this is Catra especially here this Gretchen sound Catra and here's another character, for example, this is Frosta. That's just the ones I have. Uh, they, they're wearing um, fashion or fashion pieces here that don't belong to them, but they belong to another character. So you can at least imagine uh, what, what these pieces look like, uh, some, some, some small fashion pieces. And um, I, I was like, okay, they are cool. Right now they really don't fit into anything that, that, that I have in my collection because I mainly, uh, as you know, um, collect uh, Generation 1 My Little Ponies, I collect Polly Pockets, I collect um, like cute uh, lines like uh, 
a lady lovely lock so cherry mary muffin or keepers and these kind of feel a little bit out of place but i wanted to have them and i find um, them especially for a toy history from a toy history side i find that that toy line really really interesting yeah and i recently also purchased some more shira figurines they are in here i want to unbox them together with you i've just had a look in there uh, if the correct thing is in there i've not really had a good um, detailed look at them but let's let's um, put this aside at first because i have more stuff that i want to show you that i have already unboxed i have already cleaned everything etc it's not from shira it's from this other um toy line and um, let's just grab one of them. Yeah, this is a golden girl figurine. So action figure, doll, whatever you want to call them. It's actually pretty similar just from, from what you can see. Um, they have rooted hair and are like badass looking like female characters. Um, you know, armor pieces and um, so they they um, are in a way very similar to, to She-Ra just from the first look at it you could think that this goes maybe into the He-Man or into the She-Ra line um, a lot of like yes um, most people would would call um, this golden girl toy line a She-Ra knockoff line and it is kind of true um, this line was made by Galoop uh, also well-known toy company at that time um, and uh, I think they pretty much had the same idea let's just do something similar to He-Man um, just for girls and um, 84 was the first year uh, when uh, She-Ra Princess of Power I always just say She-Ra actually the toy line is called She-Ra Princess of Power um, uh, was released and 85 that's the year Golden Girl and the Guardians of the Gemstone was released. Yeah, it has also like a similar longer title, which actually to me sounds more like He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and um, Golden Girl and the Guardians of the Gemstone. So it's a little bit different even from the sound to Shira, Princess of Power. It reminds me from the sound of the full name of the toy line even more um, directly um, of He-Man, so of the Masters uh, toy line, but they are all female characters. I mean, yes, there are two male characters, but Shira toy line also had one male character, but it's a very female like driven toy line. It was also designed and uh, marketed um, in, in, um, in the advertisements, etc. for girls, although all the colors, etc kind of appeals also to boys and nowadays also to male collectors because what I've seen I think um, that um, yeah there might be a lot of people and especially also the girl toy collectors collecting also maybe Shira but there's also and and some boys mile men nowadays might not go into the Shira toy line because there's lots of there's lots of pink <laughs> and uh, like winged horses with you know colorful manes etc uh, glittery stuff and um, the golden girl toy line although they are very similar um, in their in their figurines the whole toy line is, is darker it's it's not as pink and glitzy um, yes. How, 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 why did I buy these and um, I don't know, I've heard about this toy line for um, yeah, yeah, pretty much when I, when I got into like uh, interested into like toy history in general, learned about He-Man and about She-Ra and I mean I had none of, of these as a child because I'm born later <laughs> than this, I'm born in 88 so there, there's no way that I knew any of that as a child. But I'm also interested in, in stuff that, that's not just from, from a um, nostalgic point of view. I'm also interested and, and like other toy lines. Um, so, like, and I, 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 yes, I watch a lot of <laughs> um, like YouTubers that are like more the, the, the male toy collectors nowadays. And uh, some of them also uh, every now and then stumble upon uh, Golden Girl. 
and then I'm always just like, oh, they look so cool. I mean, um, I'm kind of interested. And you know me, I search online for all of the stuff, etc. And um, let me tell you, I found this online. <laughs> and then it was like, oh wow, I have seen that this is one of the horses from the Golden Girl toy line and one of the chariots. I've never seen that before, ever. I've, I've just searched, um, like, when, when, like, when I did my research on, on those toy lines, just like on, on the typical sites that you might know, like Ghost of the Doll, for example, is a great uh, website for everything you wanna know about a lot of vintage toy lines. And uh, I saw that and I was just always like, oh, that looks really badass. Oh my goodness, that looks so cool. When I saw this, online I was just like I, mean, I actually want to have that um, and yeah the seller um, it was on eBay made me a good offer and I even made him a better counter offer so I got uh, the horse and the chariot uh, there's a lots of lots of details missing but but still I got it for 30 euro which is just like okay I can't even argue I want to have that and once I bought this, I was just like, now now let's also search for the dolls or figures. And I found one seller that was not just selling one, not two, not three, but was selling four of the um, Golden Girl figures or action figures, dolls, whatever you want to call them. Um, and not just completely, like uh, without anything, every one of them had some accessories um, and so I was just like, okay, and, and they were really well priced. So every one of them was nine euro ninety nine, and uh, I bundled them together and um, couldn't resist. So that's how my uh, my Golden Girl um, collection started. Um, I have added to that toy line already. Uh, I will get to 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 the details. Let's uh, at first compare them a little bit. Uh, if I put, let's put the horse a little bit aside. If I put one of them like next to, let's take here, Catra. Can you see that? They are bigger. Yes, they're not the same scale um, as um, as the Shira figures. They are not like Shira five and a half inches. They are six inches. Uh, so, I mean, you can play together with them, but it kind of is a little bit strange, right? At least I think that's a little bit weird. Um, I think they matched pretty well with the bigger, bulkier He-Man figures. You could put them and, and let's and play with them. Oh, I mean, that, that might still look okay because some of them are bulkier and a little bit bigger, so. Um, but other than that, that they are a little bit bigger and they have better articulation because Shira, the, the legs are plastic and you can just move them up and down. Same with the arms and then the head, of course. Um, these actually, that's, that's very interesting. These uh, have legs that are similar to Barbie. You can like bend them. You see that? So I think that's really, really nice. Also, they have a more more similar um, joints in their in their upper legs, um, not to what Shira has, but a little bit more similar from the style to the uh, He-Man figures. The He-Man figures have the rubber bands in them. Uh, these um, they plop in, so they don't have rubber bands. They are also different, but um, yeah, from from their statue, similar, but but uh, definitely um, differences. The crotch looks different. The Shira figures can just go like up and down. And uh, these, I mean, they can also go up and down. You can, but you can also um, like change them in different positions. And that then, as I said, they can bend their knees more like Barbie could. So very, very interesting. Um, the arms are similar, you can also just put them up and down. 
And um, what I like about them more than with the Shira figures, so a lot of the Shira figures to me, it looks like they have a really wide neckline. It looks very stout, like very uh, bulky. Uh, these, these have a better neckline. It looks way better in my opinion than, than this here. Um, they don't have any uh, waistline to uh, move. They can't move their waist. The Shira figures, they have the spring, they have the spring loaded action like the He-Man figures had. So there's a spring in there. Um, but other than that, from, from, from the style, they are very similar. I mean, obviously they have different clothes, but both of them are very like fantasy, barbarian fantasy uh, style. The Golden Girl toy line just ran for one wave, while She-Ra was a little more successful, had three waves, about uh, four years. Um, and um, yeah, but, but the Golden Girl toy line also had lots of fashion packs, same as She-Ra. Um, they um, had, you know, they had horses, not as many like different other animals. Um, and they had uh, some play sets. Also not as like, good-looking, cool play sets that, or, or like other accessories that what, what Shira had. But um, like this, this is amazing. And you might already guess that this is not a good horse. And these girls that I have in my hands here, they are not the good characters. Yes, while the Shira toy line just had one villain. I mean, actually, I think uh, the the main villain in the, in the TV show was actually more like Hordak, wasn't it? But Hordak actually was available in the He-Man toy line, so in the Master of the Universe toy line, and the only villain from, from the characters, from the dolls, was um, Ketra. Here, all of those other villains, <laughs> I only have the villains because they look way cooler. So all of these four um, are actually the villains, and this is also the horse for the villains, and this is the chariot for the villains. Uh, there are like, um, like the main uh, hero and, and those um, uh, dolls, I think five, five girls and one male, and also like then four girls for the evil, uh, from the evil side, and then one male uh, doll. So um, and they just I want to show them to you in detail because they they are they are amazing. All of them also came actually with more accessories with um, as what you see here. They all had a cloak, so very like I just have one with her cloak this every one of them had had a similar um, style cloak uh, just in different colors then uh, they came uh, with a comb I have two of them they are amazing they look like this so these are the combs every doll came with one of these um, they had every one of them had shields let me show you one of them this is not the shield that goes to this one but the shields they are so well made. They are die cast metal. They are very heavy, which makes them pretty difficult um, like when, when they're holding them to stand up because they, they have weight to them, so they tip over. So I have another one of the shields. This one, I, this is just, just incredible how cool this looks. Um, uh, of course, every one of them also had another weapon. So some had swords, some had uh, like, a, I don't know, X or uh, like she for example she had like a glove with like um, with long talons so um, every one of them also had a helmet and a belt like for example this is one of the belts here you can remove it so this here back you can see that belt So every one of these dolls already came with a lot of different accessories. Um, so this, she's called Moth Lady. And look at these details. Look at the sculpt. She has these wings. They are attached to her. And they are very um, like uh, soft plastic. So they don't break easily. That's very nice. Uh, she has a little bit of crimped hair. 
two tones and um, they they looked a little bit I mean I already um, I washed them and restored them the best I could and it went really well so the hair quality is really good so I'm a really a big fan of the hair quality and their faces oh my goodness this makeup this is insane I mean these are the bad guys of course these are the, the evil uh, characters uh, the good girls they look a little bit different they don't look as cool but yeah moth lady here um, this is uh, Wachura she is uh, the one um, she would have a claw you could say that you could put on like a like a glove uh, as a weapon and she has uh, her hair is, is pretty uh, puffy it's a little bit um, like a uh, curly actually but uh, this is the best I could do right now give her this um, yeah, to give her this uh, ponytail here looks better than uh, with open hair um, these cloaks they are just removable easily via um, snap button so this is what she looks under it and the quality of the dolls uh, in my opinion is better than the She-Ra dolls. Uh, she's my favorite. This is Dragon Queen and this is also what her original uh, hairstyle would look like. Uh, these high pigtails, they are crimped and then the rest of the hair is um, straight. And she has this like, uh, you know, Chinese look to it but then, then again, you know, a little bit also it's white yeah it's, it's very it's very East Asian uh, inspired uh, you can remove her belt as I said even even without the belt she um, the whole thing looks cool Let's see here another belt underneath so this is more like a soft rubbery and then this amazing shield oh I love that so much Dragon Queen and uh, this one here uh, is called Wild One she originally yeah she had these two pigtails actually more with with a string uh, around it and um, she even has these cool tattoos on her legs so I, I love I love it so much <laughs> look at these shoes look at these boots I said, them so many so many uh, details here in the necklace and the belt on the makeup it's like the shield is one from the good guys I think this belongs to the character Ruby and the horse is missing a lot of stuff it also did not come with this mask but I um, I already got it so someone uh, sold it on eBay separately and uh, I just got it <laughs> and like saddle like uh, here are different um, actually every hoof would have uh, a small red leaf attached like a saddle um, like blanket and stuff to put around uh, to for for the carrier chariot etc so many accessories are missing but this horse alone is amazing um, the hair quality on the horses is not as good I have to say it's very cheap um, hair but I'm very lucky that uh, mine has still very good hair I've seen one since then uh, when I got it that has really bad hair but do you know what's the coolest about the horses and uh, the other one for the good guys would be a, um, a white horse but look at that Ooh, it glows it lights up and it looks even better in the dark of course so and here is the chariot in detail it looks like a dragon head with you know dragon wings um, the scalp is, is just super cool. This is here, you, she, she, whoever could be sitting in there. And yes, the, the wheels are working. 
Sadly, this one does not light up. It would be even cooler if I thought this one also would light up, but I mean, look at that. Um, and the funny thing is that when I got these four figurines, um, the seller actually packed uh, this one, so wild one, uh, with uh, the um, uh, the shield instead of the cloak. Actually, she had the cloak in the picture. So I just messaged him like, "What's what's up with that? Uh, did you did you forget to pack in the cloak, etc." I was just actually not expecting anything. I just thought he he had forgotten to put in the cloak or um, he had had mixed it up with a with a shield or whatever. He said, "Oh, I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry." Uh, would you be okay with um, when I when I send you another do uh, another doll? And I was like, what? <laughs> um, yes. So he sent me this one. This is the main character. So otherwise, I would not have had the main character. This is the only like good guy that I have now from uh, the Golden Girl toy line. This is Golden Girl. This is the Golden Girl. Uh, she looks pretty naked uh, because her her uh, armor is like. Uh, golden <laughs> um, but and she she yeah I have no accessories nothing for her but um, here you can see it she looks a little creepy because she has these super light eyebrows she has also blonde painted eyebrows uh, that's, that's a little bit strange but um, yeah the sculpt is amazing she also is wearing these like cool armor pieces uh, looks like she's bare feet but actually has also these like yeah, they look like Roman sandals or whatever. Um, very cool. And the other good guys are all uh, themed around. And I you know that the toy line is called um, Gold Girl and the Guardians of the Gemstone. So kind of like gemstones. I mean, I mean, gold is not a gemstone, but one of them is called Onyx. One is called Sapphire. One is called uh, Ruby. One is called Jade. And they also then have this color. So the Jade, for example, has more of green armor and stuff like that. Um, and uh, the male guy, Prince Chroma. And uh, for the good, uh, for the evil ones, there's another boy. I mean, the, the men, the male characters look horrible because <laughs> they look like, I don't know. They also are wearing like these, these the style. They have bare legs and they just look like, I don't know, they have beards and, or, or at least the bad guy, they look really horrible. But the female characters, they are pretty fierce. I really, I, I really gotten a big fan of them. I like the figurines, kind of from, from the way they are done more than the Shira ones. Uh, that does not mean that I don't want to expand my Shira collection. So let's start opening up this box. There are four more Shira figurines in there. And some of them are more complete than what I have here. So I can already see, here's a cape. And oh yeah, here they are. So I have Shira, the Star Wars Shira double now. I have two of her now, but this one comes with her cape. So I couldn't, could not, couldn't like uh, not buy her. Ooh, here's Glimmer. Okay, this is a two, <laughs> packed it in two. And I think this one's Angela, and then I have another Catra. So, not the same Catra though, this is a different version of her. Let's start with uh, Shira here. Okay, she is wearing her original like outfits, also more like a belt and with very, very thin like mesh on top of it. And, oh yes, it's not just a cape, it also comes with Glimmer's stuff, so that's, that's very cool, Glimmer is one of the other characters. Let's put this on her, because then I can show you the feature of what actually Star Wars Chira is uh, known for, oh, her hair is amazing, oh, so this one's way better than the one I had before. So, woohoo, this already looks amazing because this whole piece goes also around like her, like a belt and then like a huge collar. This is combined with a cape at first like this, already amazing enough. And the Star Wars Shira 
uh, when you lift up one of her arms the other one will definitely follow so it's um, you can only always lift up both arms at the same time so let's do that oops and it's the other one ta-da So this is like what she what she looks like and the inside of the cape has these stars it's uh, iri not iridescent but it's like glittery golden with stars Zack. Zack. oh this is so cool like i think shira has the better like colors and the better like details and also the fashions etc that looks better but the dolls of um of Gordon Girl, I like more. Amazing hair. Oh. Okay. Ah, a glimmer has also most of her outfit. That's amazing. Her hair does not look as good. Glimmer has very, very curly hair actually, but I think I can do something about that. So. I'm good with hair, you know that. <laughs> so, and she comes with her stuff. So still none of them is really like complete, complete. Uh, Shira obviously is missing her like famous like mask thing. Um, also her sword, which is like, ta -da, that's, that's, that's one of the main things, etc. So no, but uh, Glimmer here, haha, <laughs> she has her stuff. That's really nice. So can you see what I mean with the colors? She already, she's pink. She has the stuff that looks like a rose. It's, it's, it's a very nice sculpt. Her hair is like pink and curly. And um, yeah, they have, also they have a gemstone here. <laughs> and, um, but they are like, like accessories and belts and stuff like that. This is more this papery like stuff. Most often very glittery or like holographic, stuff like that, so. Yes, glimmer. Ah, yeah, okay. And here's another Catra. She is actually wearing something from a fashion pack. So that does not originally belong to her. No, it does not. Uh, I think. Uh, let's check. I wrote that down. So this is from a fashion pack, uh, these, these purple trousers that are called uh, Flight of Flight of Fancy. <laughs> um, but there would be more, there would also be like a top part and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if I will keep that on Catra, probably not. I will probably put that on the other Shira that I have so that my two Shiras don't look alike. But the Catra from the first wave first Shira wave, also black hair, so the evil character, villain. Her hair is also really good quality still, yeah very nice. And she knows she is the cat character, you know, she would have cat mask and stuff like that, so, but I can't really see that too well, but yeah, you have to remove that. Sadly, no, no real accessories to her, but still nice because I just have these scratch and sound catra, so with a different one. Yeah, this is Angela. She is missing the most important thing about her, which would be her wings. So this is something else that, you know, with uh, here with um, Golden Girl, we also had a winged character. These wings, you can't take them off. They are straight, they are on the body, and they are very flexible, so they don't break or anything. Angela here, she would have, oops, she would, oh, here she would have huge uh, angel wings in uh, pink, I think, yeah, and, uh, but they are two packs at the back, you can remove them, uh, and that's why, you know, they either break or get lost, so, so it's better the way that a golden girl did their wings. Okay, she's also a very pink character, and she has her, uh, like, trouser thing and uh, she's missing her uh, gemstone here in the middle 
Uh, let's see if I can find one that I can put in here. Again, that typical pleated fabric that you would see, the pleated mesh fabric that you would see on the Shira dolls. This holographic, like papery stuff. So here is also nice. I, I don't like the face paint a lot, but I mean, also it depends from figure to figure sometimes. Okay. So there we have it. Something else that I have not talked about very much at a new toy line that uh, I've just started to collect. Also, this is not a very big toy line. So, um, and I, I'm not really into the uh, good guy characters, so the good girls here. They look, some of them look a little bit strange. Um, if I would find them, sure, I would probably pick them up, but um, the main thing I wanted to have then is the four um, like villain girls and this horse. And um, now I will try every now and then to maybe complete their accessories a little bit more um, but in general it would be a toy line that you could you would maybe be able to complete um, the accessories is a little bit difficult but uh, it's not a big toy line just one wave a couple of figurines Shira is much bigger and has so many like amazing stuff um, I will be on the look for more Shira stuff but I would like be more interested in horse or you know in uh, Claudine the lion oh my goodness uh, there are other things than the figurines that I would prefer to to pick up but I'm very happy with this collection right now it's a thank you for watching um, tell me in the comments if you've ever heard of that toy line or if that's something that you are just like oh please don't show us this, this ugly stuff uh, just show us ponies <laughs> I don't know uh, I don't care I'm not only and always into the super pastel stuff um, you see I like the dolls from that toy line a little bit more than the Shira dolls but um, yeah if you enjoyed that video give it a thumbs up and um, uh, yeah it's February so you can definitely also uh, expect my uh, updated toy room tour pretty soon so thank you for watching see you real soon and may the toys be with you bye